What's it just sort of been like playing? I mean, you with a pretty cohesive unit. I mean, y'all have been together now. Yeah. How much easier has that just made things so far? Yeah, I would say it's been really smooth for the most part. Communication's been really well. Um, and, you know, we just, we just all know each other so well in and on and off the field. Um, so it's coming into this year. We're excited to get to work again. Get to work again. Yeah, there we go. You got the uh, continuity on the offensive line, but a bit of a change coming at the quarterback position. How has uh, how has that process been for you? I would say it's been really good. You know, they're both guys that love to work. They're both guys um, that come into the facility every day with their hard hats on, and they're ready to go. Um, both high energy guys, and they love the game. Um, so they're both awesome to be around. It'll be a it'll be a good camp. Are there any like specifics that you have to learn about each quarterback that would maybe change the way you snap the ball or just kind of approach it? Are there any like weird little perks going from guy to guy? Not that I've figured out yet. I'm sure that as we get more snaps together in camp, there might be a few little things, just placement of the ball, um, whether that's gun or under center. But so far, things have been pretty smooth, pretty similar between both of them. And it sounds like this year coming into this, there's a little bit more clarity on who's going to be playing and where. Did, did that change anything about your approach coming into this camp, just knowing that you're probably going to be a center? And I think last year the idea was maybe you being a guard, and now you, it's a little more sorted out, it seems like. Yeah, I would say it's a little more sorted out. But, I mean, in this league, especially on this team, you have to be versatile. You need to be ready to change positions at any moment. Um, so that's really – I've been focusing on center more. Um, but I'm still definitely tuning into guard, tuning into the calls, tuning into the technique, um, just in case there's a spur of the moment thing, or we get in camp and things just need to switch up. So, well, I'll keep going. What's the biggest difference between the two? Is it, is it mostly just stance and, and the way they attack each position? Yeah, I would say, well, stance of course, and then just your weight distribution. You know, at center you don't have a stagger, you don't really have. Um, you're on a different level than the other offensive linemen. So when you snap the ball, you have to get off, um, get depth on a lot of pass protection situations, especially on third down. Um, yeah, and just really how you load your weight on your feet and your knees is different because you don't have that stagger. What have you sort of seen in Caesar and just getting more of a, you know, full off season as opposed to last season? Have you seen some? growth in him and progression yeah i've seen a ton of growth just throughout this off season um i'm really excited for him to make it to camp into the season to see it transition to the field because he's he's told me himself it's kind of started to slow down for him um you know coming in last year it was it, that's tough coming in not having a real off season not having a real camp going down with an injury um at a really inconvenient point in time um and then just kind of being thrown in the fire that's tough especially coming in as a first year player um so I'm really expecting them to make a big jump this year. What's um, you got a new coach in the room with Zach? What's he sort of been like? Zach's been awesome. Uh, you know, he's very intellectual. He played the game for what 12 years. Um, so I mean, there's no question that he knows what he's talking about. But he's also fun to have around, um, and I'm really excited to learn from him even more. What's the advantage of just kind of that two-headed approach you guys have taken for, for years in that offensive line room, which is having two coaches that, you know, lead some meetings and that. Is it helpful just to have a switch up and have a couple voices that, that are seeing things from different perspectives? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, even just transitioning from last year having Dan and Nuge to Nuge and Streif, um, you get different personalities, you get different viewpoints, and uh, really you get a lot of Streifs just in, like, in-game knowledge from when he was a player, how he loaded his weight, um, how his first step looked, and just things like that. Um, and then Nuge is very, uh, like, playbook-based. He's very, like, in the book. He knows it. He can speak it. So many different languages to, that each person in there can understand. Um, so I think that's been really good, and I think it'll be really beneficial once the season comes around. Eric, hey, what have been your early impressions on um, Landon Young? Landon, that's my boy. Um, is he standing around you right now? No, 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 he's not standing around me. He's in. Okay. He's back inside. No, that's my boy. Um, you know, he works his tail off every day that he's come in. Um, spends extra time in the weight room. Um, he's very intellectual. And I think that he'll be a, a really good player. All set? All set. All good. All right. See y'all later.